which landed on the moon. I've looked at it extensively. And don't give me the flag-waving BS. According to the translation by the Moscow Times, a Markin would support an inquiry into the disappearance of original footage from the first moon landing in 1969 and the whereabouts of lunar rock, which was brought back to Earth during several missions. We are not contending that they did not fly to the moon and simply made a film about it. But all of these scientific or perhaps cultural artifacts are part of the legacy of humanity, and their disappearance without a trace is our common loss. An investigation will reveal what happened, Markin wrote, according to the Moscow Times translation. So, is this bonehead trying to say that we didn't land on the moon or that we just didn't give our moon rocks to his Russian ass during the Cold War? This is ridiculous. The op-ed is unlikely to raise worries among NASA officials. In 2009, NASA itself admitted that it had erased the original video recordings of the moon landing among 200,000 other tapes in order to save money, according to Reuters. However, NASA has since restored copies of the landing using recordings from other sources such as CBS News. So the original was backed up ad nauseum by millions of people, and it was backed up by anybody who recorded it at the time, which again, it wasn't as common as today, but it was happening. And CBS News has the exact same footage that NASA erased. There's no mystery here. Says the organization says that due to restoration efforts, the recording's quality is superior to the original that has gone missing. It's not missing, they erased it. It says NASA also emphasized the uniqueness of lunar soil and rock in the past. They differ from Earth rocks in many respects, David McKay said, scientist for planetary science exploration at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Where most of the material is stored. Well, you know what? They should have to show it. They should have to. Uh, that, I, that I agree with the crazy Russians on. It says, so why is investigative committee member Markin speculating about conspiracy theories surrounding moon landings that the U.S. did and it happened decades ago? In his op-ed, the Russian official also emphasized that U.S. authorities had crossed the line by launching a large-scale corruption probe targeting nine FIFA officials, according to the Moscow Times. So it's basically just revenge. He just wants to do some saber-rattling and doesn't realize that he's getting the dumb deal of the day. On June 2nd, FIFA President Sepp Blatter, what a name, announced that he would eventually step down amid an ongoing investigation into widespread corruption at the organization. Two prosecutors have declared themselves to the supreme arbiters of international football affairs, so they're mad about the World Cup, and that is why they're doing anything they can to draw attention to anything that makes them look good, and that, of course, more than anything, is why they've gotten the dumb D of the day. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie doing political commentary for the media speaks. Please donate to the show, The Correct Views at Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me on low def, high def goes towards a better show. Also, go to themediaspeaks.com and look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. Good night, friends. God bless.